This fine specimen is the Monza Book Pro, and today I'm going to be installing Snow Leopard on it just for the Rosetta 1 Power PC compatibility. Installing Snow Leopard on this thing is a bit of a pain because it came out mid cycle of Snow Leopard, so a general Snow Leopard DMG doesn't work on it, so we've got to do it a different way. A different way involves this an early 2008 MacBook Pro because this thing came out before Snow Leopard was released, so any Snow Leopard DMG should work on it, so fun. So basically the plan is to restore Snow Leopard here onto USB and then I'll take the hard drive out of the Monzo Book Pro and then I'll put it into an enclosure and then boot off the Snow Leopard USB onto this and then install it to the enclosure, update it and then put the hard drive from the enclosure back into the Monzo Book. I don't know if this is going to work, it's a bit of an experiment, hence why this isn't a tutorial in the slightest. Anyway, so what we've got to do is we've got to restore this lovely USB stick here with the one on the desktop, the DMG. Now then, it's probably going to take a while. So, yeah. Cue the montage. So now that OS X has been restored to this thing, we need to take the hard drive and the Monzo Book Pro. Because this thing is currently a disaster of a MacBook, there is three screws holding on the bottom cover. But the first thing you want to do is just unplug the battery like that. And then we can just remove the two screws holding in the hard drive. that way, unplug the SAT cable, unscrew your ghetto hard drive mounts because you've lost them or it didn't come with them, then just put it now that the external drive, well the Monzo Books hard drive is plugged in, we've got the, and that we've got the Snow Leopard USB plugged in, we need to now reboot the laptop. After the MacBook chimes, you will want to hold down the Alt key to enter the boot picker menu for the MacBook Pro. From here, you'll be able to select the Leopard installer. Okay, I've managed to get into the OS X boot, boot picker before Open Core managed to load. So then, now we just need to load into the Mac OS install DVD, and hopefully this will work. I said, come on, don't just lock up on me, please. That would really suck. Please. It's a good start, kind of. Ooh, that's good. We're in the installer now. Hey, right. Now then, this is where we. This is where I hope that the uh, that Snow Leopard can detect the external hard drive over there. So we're now in the uh, actual OS X installer. So let's hope that it is in disk utility. Oh, hey, that's a good sign. Right, there it is. Hey, so now we can just uh, erase this. OS X journaled, and then we're going to call it Monzo and erase.
E, right. Now then, moment of truth, I guess. Continue. Yeah, I've read all that. Oh, sweet. Okay, can we customise our install? I just want to install everything. Yes, Rosetta. Haha, -ha. there we go. That is what we need. Let's get quick time as well, because why not? And then let's click install. Okay, <clears throat> so Snow Leopard is now installed in the memory stick, oh, no, the, the external USB, so here's to hoping it's actually going to work. Pop out that, don't need that. We're going to hold down all before Open Core Legacy Patcher has a chance to kick in. And hopefully, we, we, we will be able to boot off this thing. Clean it a little bit. Oh, here goes nothing. Oh. So this is probably going to end up being very slow because it's over USB 2.0. But even that's going to be slow, we should be. It should be. Uh, I should be at least able to update it to 10 to the latest version of Snow Leopard, which I believe is 10.6.8, which will allow this Snow Leopard install to boot on the mid 2010, and even a 2011, I think. Well, I've actually never heard that in person before. <laughs> that was something. So, United Kingdom, uh, we are, well, this, month, uh, this 2010 has a curious way out, so that'll do. You're not trying to transfer any information, because I don't need to. Whoa, we need to connect to Wi Fi, don't we? Crap. Okay. Um Hopefully I remember that. Hopefully it's right. That was not the right password. Crap. Um That should be the right one.
Really, Apple ID. I don't want to use an Apple ID. Fuck. How does it skip? Oh, skip. Continue. Aha. Didn't know you could skip that. Password, we don't need that. Snow Leopard. Yeah, don't need that. Do we actually? Nah, we don't. This is where it takes 50,000 years to create an account. Fun. Right, now then, the pass, not the password, the account picture. What do we choose? I like the thunder. Let's have the thunder. Yeah, that's about right. Ah, oh, thank you. That will be the hard drive. Let's just eject it. So what version of Snow Leopard are we dealing with here? 10.6, ding, we've got a lot of updating to do. Oh yeah, I see what software update brings. I've just got like an endless list of just updates. Well, what updates have we got then? Is it just, uh... hey, there's 10.61, that's only a gig, okay. Well, let's install them. I've read this before totally, don't have a password. Aha, right. Let the time lapse continue. Start. Now this is probably going to be the very long and arduous bit that I'm going to hate. Maybe. This might be another time lapse, you know. Just need to check we're on 10.6.8 now, we should be, I think. No, not a bank finder, please. And yes, we're on 10.6.8, so we are now ready to put this hard drive back into the Monzo Book Pro. So, now if you just shut down. And just take then I can just take the hard drive out of the caddy, toss that somewhere, install the unofficial bracket screw things. Get set a cable, just somewhat line that up, put that there. Find the screwdriver. 
it's still these two screws. And because I don't know if this is going to work, I'm going to lay the top cover on. And then flip it over. Right, this is a moment of truth. Let's see if it's going to boot. Hopefully it does. Because it would be nice to have a Rosetta 1 capable machine. It's taking its time. Hey, that's promising. No kernel power. Oh, hey, that's a very good sign. 2008? Yeah, it's fine. Uh, type in the password I can never remember. And that's good. There you go, 10.6.8, more info. Micro Pro 7.1 and NVIDIA GT320M. There we go. So, this thing now has Snow Leopard on a mid 2010. Replace soon? Yeah, we don't worry about that. So, there you go. That's installing Snow Leopard on a mid 2010 Macro Pro the hard way without a restore CD. Use this thing as the tutorial as you need, because it's not great for that, but, well, it's a bit of content, so, screw it. And for the laughs, let's see how long this thing takes to boot. Six seconds. It's not terrible. Not great. Not terrible. I rate that a three point five. Who knows? This thing could be improved with an SSD one day. But before that, it needs a new screen, new top case, new keyboard, new everything because it's absolutely destroyed. <laughs>